one, go. And they are off with our qualification match number 27. Both teams, the Blue and Alliance and the Red Alliance, had a robot on the second level that had platform, earning them both six points each for that sandstorm duration. And we move into the teleoperate portion of the match where the drivers can see their robots. We're tied at 12 to 12. Oh, Blue Alliance takes the lead just by a couple of points here. Red Alliance team 63-18, working on getting that that hatch panel on the rocket. They just can't get it to stick. Blue Alliance team 167 working on feeding that cargo to their cargo ship and they successfully do so, earning them an extra three points. Blue Alliance is in the lead by two points. Red Alliance, Patriotics working on getting that cargo. But the Blue Alliance is playing some defense, hindering the Red Alliance from scoring cargo into their cargo ship. Red Alliance DNA Robotics is getting a cargo and zooming over to their cargo to place it in their cargo ship. Red Lego Gitchy Dog is working on playing some defense against them. But that doesn't phase the Red Alliance. They still score into their cargo ship. Red Alliance is in the lead just by a few points. 30 to 27. About 30 seconds left in our match. Blue Alliance trying to get those hatch panels on the top of their, their rocket. Can they do it? And they are working hard. And they successfully placed that hatch panel. Blue Alliance is just five points behind the Red Alliance. Red Alliance with 34, Blue Alliance with 29. Five seconds left in a match. Three, two, one. And that is the end of our qualification match number 27. Our results will be in in just a moment. They did end up getting that extra ranking point for that level three climb, making 52 to 38. Great job, team. We are now on our lunch break. We'll be back at 12.30 with qualification match.